guys, I'm Tasha from the Major Change Group, where we believe small changes can create big results. And y'all, I'm so excited today. I'm going to the Dave Ramsey Studios. Now I'm going to be doing a collab with Tanisha Davis from the Fun and Budget Act. And she also has a channel with her boyfriend, Jay, with Sitting in a Tree. So we are going to be going to the Dave Ramsey Studios. And I am so excited. Y'all, it took somebody from out of town to get me to the Dave Ramsey Studios. Now, I live in Nashville, Tennessee. And yes, I know all about Dave Ramsey. And I love his principles. I think that his principles, the baby steps, are a good foundation for you to be financially literate and to get your finances in order. Y'all, the studios are huge. They have all the books. And you can see Chris Hogan, the man with the golden voice, everyday millionaires. He gives practical advice. And then your boy, Anthony O'Neill, destroying the student loan debt. Man, I needed those books when I was going to college. But he has such a good personality. I wish he had been there but they weren't filming that day. And then Dave Ramsey, when he first got started, he was selling his books out of his car. So you got to start where you can. Now, when you visit the Dave Ramsey Studios, it comes up to like your own self-guided tour of where Dave Ramsey really started from. And so if you come to Nashville, or even if you live in Nashville, like me, I really would suggest coming out and taking a look because it is a lot of great information and it just really shows you where it all started. You know, when the personality started coming in, all the books and stuff that they have. And it, it was just a really great experience. Even there were some other people that were visiting as well. And it was so funny because they were from out of town and I was the only person that was from Nashville. <laughs> so they told me to definitely come back. And then they also do live tapings. But on that day, there was not any live taping. So me and Tanisha, we did a live taping and we asked each other questions about our journey. So that's what I'm going to show you next. And after you watch this video, definitely go over to Tanisha's channel, The Fun and Budget Act with Tanisha. And then you can see I interview her and ask her a couple of questions about her journey. And so let's go. A little bit later. But first, Tanisha is going to interview me and ask me a couple of questions. Yes. I am so excited. <laughs> This is my first time meeting Tasha oh, of the Major so cool. Change Group. Gemini's Rule. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, because we're here at the Dave Ramsey Studio, okay. that is what I'm curious about. What is your story? Okay, my story. So, you know, I'm here from Nashville, Tennessee. So, I've been knowing about Dave Ramsey. And I'm more so, I don't want to say it too loud, but I'm so, more so Dave Ramsey inspired. You know, your financial journey is a personal journey. So I kind of take some of what he says and kind of tailor it to me. That's when I learned about Dave Ramsey. So I cut all my credit cards up. Didn't have no oh, credit wait, cards. So you went drastic. I went drastic at first. So at first, you know, you want to kind of do all the rules exactly how it's supposed to be. Makes sense. So I cut up all my credit cards. And you know, I saved the 1000 and then I had, I would say, maybe at that time, maybe 11 or 12,000 dollars in credit card debt. And then I probably only had my student loans with my undergrad, and I had already had a house, 
I had my house because I think I had got it in 2007. So I had over $100,000 with my house and then maybe like 30 or 40,000 with my student loans and then some credit card debt. Mm -hmm. So then I'm doing the baby steps, but I'm gonna fast forward due to time to 20, 16 so 2016 and it's just like so much happened in between there so i'll probably tell my story a little bit more but i just for the sake of time i really wanted to come in and talk about the parts in the middle so during the time that i had learned about dave ramsey and i had started the baby steps and i had did pretty good for a while even with the baby steps and even within that time i want to say i had paid off the eleven thousand dollars and then i had went back to school to get my master's degree but after I had finished my master's degree I didn't find a position right off the bat and then at the time I was doing retail management and I don't know that I was just so happy at that point and then especially since I wasn't finding the position that I wanted and I was going on I was applying for a lot of positions but I wasn't getting an interview and so I want to say they had ended up making some changes within the management and I had 26% of my income had been cut. And so, of course, you know that I wasn't in a good spot at that time. Having 26% of, of your pay cut, just like kind of like that was not really good. And then I was still trying to find another position. So I had ended up finding me a position and I was only making $13.50 at that time. And I ended up getting the debt back up. So at this time I had probably had maybe $11,000 of credit card debt again. In addition to I had my masters, I still had my undergrad and had my and my house as well. And I just wasn't in a, the place that I wanted to be at that time, especially going back to school to make more money and then I'm only making 13.50 per hour, so you can only imagine how I felt at that time. But I can definitely say that my family was so supportive during this time. And even during this time, I really started getting in the word more, strengthening my relationship, just having more faith overall. And I also even tithed. I was tithing my money while I wasn't making a lot of money. I was just creating a better financial foundation for myself, even while I wasn't making a lot of money. So that's why I really think that the Dave Ramsey principles are really good and even if you're just in the beginning stages it can give you the foundation that you need and so eventually I ended up finding me a position making probably double if not more than double what I was making even after I had lost 26% of my income so I definitely think it was good for me to create that foundation for myself and even if you just create a plan even if you're not necessarily using the Dave Ramsey principles or whoever you're listening to, but creating a plan for yourself can definitely set you up for success, even when you're not making a lot of money, so that when you do make a lot of money, you can be more successful. Because however you treat your money when you make a little bit is how you're gonna treat your money when you make a lot. And last, I wanna say, if you're a person, you're not where you wanna be, and maybe you're down on yourself, just know that things will get better and that's why i keep saying to create that foundation write your goals down because of course it's a lot easier for me to say these things now because i'm well out of that situation but i can say looking back and being and having those experiences i would tell people to make sure to create the goals and to create that foundation and it will and you will get out of that position but you just gotta have the faith and keep pressing and then keep being consistent and things will get better and i had started a new job so i was making more money so about this time i said i'm gonna do things right and so i started my journey so then that's when i did baby step one when my debt snowballed putting all my credit cards and stuff smallest to largest and then now fast forward because I still like to take trips. Like I don't want to do it. You was just rice and beans. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm being said goodbye. So that's what I'm saying. Don't kill me, you guys. Like Dave Ramsey's principles work, and it can create discipline that you need 
2020, I actually paid off all my credit card debt. So I paid off over $5,000 in credit card debt probably in June or July. June. But the thing mm -hmm. is, none of the credit card debt was on, uh, it was on a 0% interest credit card. So I had done balance transfer. So I would probably say for the last four years, I hadn't had any interest on the credit card. It's just been 0% yes. interest. But it was, you know, kind of doing it on my my wavelength Your to terms. where, my terms to where I could still live my life the way I wanted to, but I had a plan. And that's what, that's what my channel is all about, is creating your plan. And when did you start your YouTube channel? I started my YouTube channel in 2019. Okay, I feel yeah. like it was, no, it yeah. couldn't have been. So, yes. Why do I feel like I've known you longer than that? I, well, I have been on your channel. Oh. So, yes, yes. <laughs> Y'all, this is like, oh okay. my gosh, I cannot believe it. It's just like my sister in my head, my best friend in my oh, head. Wow. Because like, even though. Been around longer than 2019. <laughs> even though I have a sister, shout out, you know, we, we I have a twin sister, so she's my number one, but you my number two, oh, like, wow. in my head. So I love your channel, and that's how, because I will be commenting and stuff on your channel. Yeah, that's how I'm like, yeah, yeah we go way back. Yeah. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But no, I did not start my channel until February uh, 28th of 2019. That's when I started my channel. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. You learn something new every day. Yes. Because I just know, like you said, because you've always been supportive of my mm -hmm. channel. So I just know that I've always seen you <laughs> right. around. Right. And then just to think, like, she's here because it would be times when she would say she wanted to come to Nashville. And I'd be like, well, you got to come to Nashville. When you come to Nashville, you know, we got to meet and all those things. And then all of a sudden it happened. And, I'm, and I told my sister because I had saw your post and I was just like, but I didn't see the original post. I think you had posted something in my video and said, do you live? But I had already saw yes. yours. And I told oh. my sister, I was like, oh, my I was God, like, wait a minute. I think she yes. lives in Nashville. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's like, don't you live? It's yes. something in my memory yeah. has you associated with Nashville. So, yeah. 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 So I had to reach out because I was like, how do you not travel? Like, I want to meet people, especially people who have been supporting me and we've been supporting each other. Yeah, like, how yeah. we just know each other virtually. You <laughs> right, know? right. So, you're yeah. like, you know, the person, but you know, yeah. Yeah, because I'm like, no, girl, you got a channel longer than that. What are you talking about? <laughs> but, oh, wow. Right. Yeah, so that's my journey. And so now I'll, I have my car and I just purchased it in October. And so I really. Originally, I wanted to uh, pay off my car because I only had like three thousand dollars left on that, and then all I would have was my house and my student loans. But I was starting to have some issues with my car, so then I purchased my car. But I think that I'm gonna try to pay it off within thirty months because I got a sixty-month loan, or probably sooner than that. Oh wow! Yeah. So okay, we, look at us. We here making dreams come yes. true. Now the thing is, they're not in session right now. They're already on their holiday vacation, right. so nobody's taping live. But the studio is open. That's why we we actually were supposed to get here today. Mm, okay. And when I saw that they are not going to be in, like today's their last day work mm. for the holidays. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's okay. why I was like, I went back in and I changed our flight to yesterday so that we could at least okay. come here okay. and check out the studio mm -hmm. and everything. And you, did you take off? Yeah. Am I telling mm -hmm. your business? Oh, no problem. No oh, okay. Yeah, I took off from work. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I had to come. One, I had to come here. I mean, I live here and I never came to Dave Ramsey. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. And then I had to come and see you. So, yeah. yeah. So, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. With Dave Ramsey's plans, like, what is your favorite part about the plan? What is the, your the biggest budget. takeaway? I would say the budget. Okay. Because I feel like budgeting is not restrictive because you can just waste small amounts of money and then you think that okay I'm not either making a lot of money or you know maybe I need to get another job but most of the time you don't it's just like what are the little small things that your money is going to and then it's just like what is the goal that you want to create so for me having a budget helps me to be able to do the things that I want to do yes yeah. and so what's the thing that you would say works the least for your lifestyle not having credit cards mm-hmm I like to use credit cards, um, so I feel, but the thing is, this is what I'll say, because I have been on the extreme end where I had cut up all my credit cards, and then, but I didn't close them, and then now to where I use credit cards, mm -hmm. so I like to use the points, like the other day, y'all, I had got me a $100 gift card from the points, 
for Amazon. So I done purchased me some stuff with my Amazon uh, gift card. And you know, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Same here. My thing is I am an avid credit card user. Right. I get points. Half mm -hmm. of my travel is free. Like I fly to different countries like Japan. I would flew for $51. I'm trying to get like you. Exactly. Like I usually save mine for international travel. Because okay. I'm like, United States travel, I can afford those points. Right. But by international travel, I use points. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I pay most of my off. bills with my credit card except for my mortgage, my student exactly. loans, and my car. Now, I probably could use plastic and do it that way. But it's not that serious. But I say if you can, whatever bills, like my gas, my food, grocery store, anything that I can the use. The things you're going to, you pay anyway. Right. And then I pay it off bi-weekly. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, that yeah. is, that's all the questions I have. Okay. Good deal. It's not a game, so.